Well, happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, we are in a new vehicle, nice and shiny, as you can tell. Um, one of the many things that uh, you uh, probably didn't see me within the last couple of weeks um, is the fact that my baby broke down um, and if you follow me on snapchat uh, you can tell how upset I was about that I wasn't expecting um, to upgrade or get a new car or get a new used car at that um, I was finger crossing that um, the beast would hold out for another six months until I finished university. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, um, and it happened between exams, and it, it was just a whole stressful time for me, so, um, thank you for kind of sticking with me, understanding, um, and I do, um, fully appreciate all the good lucks and, um, hope you are doing well and everything like that. It was, um very sweet and um, shows that there is still humanity and caring in the world which is very nice um, so we are in a new shiny car Donald's right there um, other Donald is there as well and we also have Eeyore so we have the whole gang here and it's always the case when I'm sitting in a car that you can't exactly see behind me <laughs> but um, because beautiful sun is out the beautiful sun is out and I'm not complaining about that one um, so we are back at movie world yes we are back uh, first day of Queensland school holidays which means there is a lot of people here uh, as much as they can fill their current car packing situation um, so basically pretty much half the car park here at the moment is closed up of this DC Rivals roller coaster, hyper coaster, which they are building. Uh, it looks huge and humongous, and I hope it's going to be good. Because if Doomsday is anything to go by, uh, slight disappointment on that one, but there's going to be a huge Joker's head on this new roller coaster. So we might as well rename this theme park. DC world at this stage um, another reason why I am here today is because during the school holiday period it is good versus evil we are talking about DC villains versus DC heroes uh, children can get dressed up as their favorite DC hero or villain uh, I saw Catwoman Harley Quinn and I think there was Poison Ivy on the sign uh, so yay uh, there are also a few photo booth areas that you can take your picture in uh, superhero themed um, and there's a new parade which is the reason why I am here I hope I can stick it out to get to it today because it's at 6 PM. That's correct. Instead of there being a 3 p.m. parade, the Stars Parade, Street Stars Parade, or whatever it is, 6 p.m. is the DC Parade. Hence why they should just rename this park DC World. Because uh, movies, obviously, is not in their repertoire anymore. We have the new Doomsday area filled with villains we have Green Lantern we have uh, Superman Arkham Asylum uh, Green did I say Green Lantern uh, Justice League Batwing uh, Doomsday these are the rides that are taking over this park uh, and when October September September was the rumor that it's going to be soft opening and October is the classified opening we have DC Rivals so you're talking about majority of this park being DC uh, so just rename this park I wish I wish in my heart in my childhood memories that this park would have stayed 
a movie's park. Back in my day, I know we're talking about, I'm only 25, but back in my day, you had the police academy stunt show instead of the car motor show, whatever you want to call it. You had gremlins uh, instead of Scooby-Doo. Uh, you had Batman in the Justice League building. You had Wild Wild West. You had all these movie-based rides. Now, now it's just DC. As much as I love my DC villains, as much as I love my Joker and my Harley Quinn, and my Poison Ivy, you gotta take one for the Red Nuts. Uh, it, it's very disheartening to know that this is what our park has come to. Um, so, Let's go in before I get even more upset that this is happening. Um, and we'll check this out, get some parade viewing. So the deal with this parade is that 6pm the parade is, 6.30 the park closes. So it's the last thing that happens before the park closes. So we are going to do this and hopefully Hopefully we get something. Alrighty, let's do this.
see the Joker, a penguin, and a cat. But who's the most powerful you've ever seen? Simple! Just take a look who's on the screen! This guy! No, no, no! That is... Incorrect! Ladies and gentlemen, Wade Cross now live as the most powerful man comes to the bench! Better up! Much better! <laughs> Please explain why all of a sudden I'm seeing question marks along my television set, huh? First of all, it's not starting to go Don't believe it. There are cards everywhere. And now question marks. It's like you gotta have some catchphrase, a silly gimmick to be a villain next time. You get it. You bring him in for me. No, go!
say tonight. Uh, the whole event was pretty good. Um, I only missed one of the mini shows that I have not seen um, because I couldn't work out where the hell it was um, and it wasn't really it's not over the PA and it's not on screen it's not in that main thoroughfare it is the mini show that is the Oswald's um, mare kind of thing um, which uh, you never get to see the penguin out so it was kind of disappointing that I missed that one but I did see him in another one um, a little later on uh, so overall it is great um, the night almost night parade is fantastic uh, Wonder Woman has her own float now uh, she always used to be on the Justice League float uh, so she is on her own um, Greek looking thing um, which go Wonder Woman the the parade time at night almost felt like Fright Night's ending um, everybody packed on Main Street um, and a lot of children and strollers I know my grievance with children at Fright Nights you guys know that from the last couple of Fright Night videos um, but every every small show that was done today I had great grievances with of the crowds um, when I'm sitting there for almost 20 minutes prior to a mini show starting and then your children decide to stand directly on the main street road in front of me blocking my review <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of frustrating but I understand that children can't see but it's very frustrating when somebody has been sitting there for quite a while waiting to see the show and your child stands in the way anyway uh, and don't even uh, the the strollers being run into by strollers I am a human I am made up of mass I don't know how you can miss me uh, I even had a father stand on me while he was trying to videotape his his children dancing to not music um, he then turned around and said I didn't see you there yet I'd been sitting in the same position for almost 30 minutes at that stage so I don't am I am I invisible uh, probably uh, but overall it was great um, DC World is doing what DC World does. Wish Hawk Girl was back. Um, Hawk, they do have a Hawk Girl uniform costume. They do have one. I have had my photo taken with Hawk Girl at Movie World or DC World. And just bring her back. They had um, Starlight, I think her name is, the Green Lantern villain. She was there. Why was not Hawk Girl there? She's part of, I believe she's part of Justice League. I don't follow Justice League, but I believe she's in the later Justice League. So why, why just bring back Hawk Girl? <laughs> yeah, sorry about this lighting. Sorry about this lighting and I don't know whether I've cut myself out several times from trying to switch hands. Um, but that is all. I hope you have a fantastic week. I'm finger crossing that we'll be back to regular scheduling next week. <laughs> Fingers crossed, but I'm not going to promise it yet again um, because I don't know how this week is going to go with everything that's been going on previously. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see and hopefully I'll be back next week. But until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. And I shall see you on the flip side. Bye, guys.